Okay, hi, Paul Slack is Good News Broadcast. I'm with Ted Leonis? Leonsis. Leonsis. Hello, Ted. How are you? Very good. Congratulations. This Thank evening. you. It was a wonderful night. Great award and an honor to be amongst such really prestigious, authentic people trying to do their best to make the world better. Okay, well, uh, you're here uh, because you are one of those people that also tries to make the world better. Most of your speech was based around doing good here at Good News Broadcast. That's the words we like. You've been a, a mayor of Orchid, Florida. You uh, have uh, a very successful career with AOL. Uh, you continue on with uh, outstanding projects. How are you feeling about life? Um, well, I'm of two minds. Uh, I think it's the worst of times and the best of times. It's um, certainly you look around the world. You can just look around the corner a mile from the Capitol building. There's poverty. There's um, there's AIDS. There's war. There's homelessness. There's famine. It's a tough time in the world. At the same time, I'm optimistic because I, I believe in the power of the Internet. I believe that the Internet can be a great leveler. I think uh, what Internews is all about is empowering ordinary people and citizens to go out and tell the stories, explain to other people what's happening. And, and by using the Internet to distribute uh, those words, I think that we can help improve the quality of life. Your uh, more recent endeavor, uh, making films, uh, uh, well, one had... Uh uh, some involvement with the realities of war, and uh, uh, we've been involved with uh, Hiroshima and have done a major event each year for Hiroshima and Nagasaki uh, called International Peace Day uh, with Pete Seeger and uh, with Peter Yarrow, and uh, we continue on. Now, you've taken on that as a subject matter because war is not a good news story. No, that's true. I, I've made two movies. My first film was called Nang King. It's a Schindler's List kind of film about Westerners who stayed behind in Nanking, China when the Japanese invaded and through their kindness created a safety zone and saved the lives of 250,000 people. And that story had been lost and it's an anti-war movie at its core. It shows what happens when an occupying army comes in and, and plies its trade to a to really innocent bystanders and it reminded me of here's a time where around the world as Americans we're not very popular um, and here was a time when Westerners are now viewed as gods and goddesses for their acts of kindness and I think when we do good work we're much better received around the world than when we try to use guns and money. Okay, you're on a good news page, no doubt about that. Your latest movie is? second film is called Kicking It. Kicking It is uh, pivots around the Homeless World Cup. It's a uh, ball can change your life, and it shows how homeless people can become part of something bigger, uh, become part of a team, uh, get involved in a competition, and change their life. Uh, Colin Farrell was in the film. Bono uh, donated some of his U2 music for the soundtrack. Movie uh, opens in theaters um, in New York on the 13th, here in D.C. on the 26th. We're actually going to bring the Homeless World Cup U.S. trials here that same weekend to Washington, D.C. Uh, this year's Homeless World Cup is in December in Australia, and we'll pick the players here in Washington who will go represent our country. Are you going to broadcast that? Um, yes, it's in theaters. ESPN bought it, so it'll be on all the ESPN networks. Will you broadcast the homeless? Uh, uh, no, I, we don't have any plans right now other than an Internet broadcast to do the Homeless World Cup. Okay, I'd broadcast that. That's great. my kind of a show okay. by far. We broadcast Hoop Dreams. Oh, uh, we, uh, I'm, a, I'm very involved in Hoop Dreams. I have a young man who I met his junior in high school. Uh, and now it's eight years later. We email and I instant message every single day. Helped him to get into college, helped him to stay in the college. We're very proud of him, and he's become kind of my surrogate son. Okay, well, that's a great organization. We've been following that for a bunch of years because so many people are doing good in the world. I just want to mention your last project because I think your last project can be the real, 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 real win. 
uh, and that is uh, widgets or calling up uh, uh, space on people's websites to do good with good content. So we make good movies. This is a room of do-gooders, okay? People in this room that we are right now are people that are doing foundations for the deaf, are helping people learn how to speak languages because they can't speak. So now, though, to do all the good, to get the good out there, we need ways, we need media that can help to make that happen. Tell us about your latest adventure because uh, it seems to me that that's what you want to do. Um, well, there's so many great films that are being made that are around causes, uh, but they don't have a big market in theaters and television budgets are being cut back dramatically. So I just felt that there was a way to take these films, digitize them, make them into widgets, and then go to people who are blogging, people who have their own websites, people who have MySpace pages, uh, Facebook pages, and say, help me to open a virtual movie theater on your page and and let's show millions and millions of people these great work uh, will build within the widget the causes that they support how to donate money around it and and so the the endeavor is called snag films it'll launch the middle of um, of july and i want to get a trillion pixels donated to the cause okay well you got good news broadcast pixels uh... that's similar to what we've been doing we're open for people that have good news um, and uh... want to share their good news and uh, I'm, i i encourage you i, I well I, you'll I, open uh, you'll be one of our biggest theater operators I, I'm, because it's all good <laughs> congratulations thank, thank you, so you very much, much. thank you